After months of voting and hundreds of bottles that came and gone, we now have our winner of Mark Madness. Which fragrance did our YouTube fragrance community vote for as the best designer scent? Keep it tuned in. Fragrance family, welcome to the finale of Mark Madness. This is where you chose your favorite designer release of all time. We went through over 100 bottles going back to back, and now we're down to two soldiers going head to head. I'm going to tell you which one won. First, I wanted to thank all of you out there, all my subscribers that kept tuning in in Mark Madness for months upon months gave me likes on each video because I appreciate that. You don't have to, but I appreciate that. And of course, the ones that did vote on every video. Merci beaucoup. I had many comments thanking me in the last video for the tournament. And I do certainly appreciate that feedback. And of course, uh, with feedback like that, perhaps we're going to bring back Mark Madness next year in 2020 once I release my top 100 niche list and utilize those fragrances in a tournament style. So I always look for your feedback. So thank you so much for that. So let's get to the meat and potatoes of this video. I know you tuned in for one reason, one reason only, as you want to know which one of these fragrances right here is the big winner. Pure Malt Diodum Parfum. So the contestants, well, uh, Pure Malt uh, did make my top 100 designer list eons ago. It was number three rated, so I wasn't off the mark with your taste. Um, so one of my favorites, uh, arguably one of the best flankers in the game. And it went against a wild card. This is a wild card. Um, this one was actually not released when I did my top 100 list. Um, this is Diodum Parfum. Again, another flanker. So two flankers going head to head, not two original fragrances. So it says a lot about the, the flanker game and the designer game. Obviously, it's working. So this uh, this uh, <laughs> finale, you guys outdid yourselves because we were pretty close to a freaking tie on this one. And I was like, no, not a tie. You, you, can't, <laughs> you can't make me do another video. I almost had to. Uh, with a score of 82 to 83, I'm not kidding. One vote could have changed all this to be a tie. Two votes, we could have had a different winner. It was that close. So... Again, thank you everybody that voted in that bracket, but uh, I don't have the garbage bin here today because I got to give the one, even though it loses, give it respect because it did make, uh, of course, the finale. So with a score of 83 to 82, Diarum Parfum is your loser. <laughs> Pure Malt uh, wins a Mark Madness. Uh, you can't hate on that. Um, really a, a, an outstanding flanker from the brand. And uh, I've been tooting the horn of this flanker since 2009 when it first got released on my channel. So thank you so much to everybody again for uh, all your participation. And uh, I was just actually just thinking about, um, this is of course uh, the, the fragrance that represented um, Chris um, so I, I just wanted to, I just thought about that and, uh, it just makes me think uh, of him when we had our conversation on Facebook about this tournament and how much he was hyped about this tournament and how much he wanted Pure Malt to win. Um, so first and foremost, rest in peace to Chris. I'm sure you're looking down with a big smile because this one is for you, my friend. It did win. <laughs> you called it. <laughs> and we all know he would have been here, uh, of course, uh, just bragging, <laughs> was so happy. Um, and he would have voted every step of the way. Um, so again, thank you everybody. Um, I can't believe Pure Malt won. And of course, Chris called it uh, way back when. So again, thank you everyone for your participation. Um, 
Before I go, sin of the day, it is St. Patty's Day. That's why I'm wearing my green shirt here. Um, but I am, um, I'm not going green Irish tweed because that's the obvious choice for St. Patty's Day. But I want, I want it to go with one of the green-headed monsters. And this is, of course, Green Valley from Creed. Um, and pro tip, <laughs> uh, this is my next Creed uh, to be reviewed on my channel. So this is a beautiful green fragrance from Creed. They do green very well. Part of my three-headed monster from Green, Selection Verte, Green Valley, and Green Irish Tweed. Um, excellent, excellent. They make green fragrances like perfection. Um, don't be surprised if this is going to make my top 20 spring niche list this year. It has been number one on the list a few times. So keep it tuned in for those spring lists. I should be throwing those out hopefully uh, early April for all of you. And now you're going to have to excuse me because now that Mark Madness is done, I got to work on a top 100 niche list. So I'll be right back.